it is a beautiful Friday morning right here. And um, my name is Cynthia Agbo. I'm definitely not alone. What's that? Yeah. It's, uh, it's my signature dance now. Every time you welcome me on the show, I'm going to go. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. It's, it's a Friday. You know, we should be grateful to God that it's Friday. So, yes. Definitely looking forward to an amazing day. Absolutely. All right. Let's move on straight first to health and wellness this morning. This morning on health and wellness, we'll be looking at stroke. We'll be right back. All right, those are the early signs of uh, stroke and um, signs that you should not ignore at any time because you never could tell. If you ignore the warning signs, just when it comes upon you, uh, you may not be able to resist the powers <laughs> that it will come with. And um, it's very, very important for you to heed to the early signs of stroke. Very, very important, especially when you are of a certain age. It's very important for you to watch yourself and always be observant with uh, the things that happen to your body around you basically yeah totally agree um your lifestyle it's important in moments like this uh, take care of your heart eat well there are some habits that are not really helping you yes you think you're enjoying yourself but then again sorry to say but you actually not helping so you need to watch out for those um habits and then yeah generally do better health wise mm. at this point we'll go on a short musical break this is a uh, candy blinks and simi this one is titled wally we'll be right back Okay, that was a song by Candy Blinks and Simi. Amazing, amazing song. It's a Friday, so it's a fun Friday. So most definitely, you'll be having lots of music, lots of fun stories, lots of feel-good moments. Basically, that's what we're going to be doing this Friday on the show. Just to make you relax and uh, get you set for the weekend. The weekend is upon us, so mm -hmm. most definitely uh, take all the seriousness aside and just open the door mm. for so much fun talking Conclusion, about fun we're releasing all the past today talking about fun have you ever seen a fine black boy before uh, anyway let's start with this melanin man i i need to go to know that so this, is this a time i start performing no no not you you will see the man. Oh, okay. My spec. <laughs> Melanin man. Let's have him on the well screen. Done. Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. That's my spec. That's the color. That or nothing. <laughs> That's a French model. Like, uh, what's his name again? He's, he's, uh, don't even get me started with his, with his walk on the wrong way. Mm -hmm. If you see him walk, if you see his height, mm. if you see him walk, mm -hmm. mm, you will, you respect. Exactly. What? What? 
I, I don't want to be seen as a hater, but... But what? I beg you. <laughs> if you cannot beat, then you do what? Nah, there's nothing to join here. You, you do what? <laughs> I mean, if you have to start, you know, scaling all the elements one after the other. Is it from the teeth? I score or the eyes? I score far higher than or that. Or the shape of the face? I score far the higher. Factor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even show you the full body, yo. Leave all that one. Don't worry. Don't worry. Have you seen? Oh my goodness. Have you seen? <laughs> no, no, no. Have, you, have I seen what? Have you seen the interior? <laughs> <laughs> what interior am I looking for? I have seen his tall height. I have seen. His... When when we see the interior design, then I have seen his legs. I've seen his tummy is flat with packs. Nice. I have seen his walks. We need I've seen. We need to check out the interior. What interior again? If you don't get it, forget about it. Wow. Uh huh. Is this the power of the show? Is better eighteen? Uh, uh No, not really. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't know what you're talking. About. I don't Which know other you're, interior? I don't know are what you're thinking. For? I don't know what you're talking about. What, Just uh, what the, interior are we talking you know, about? more about his personality what's, uh, what's like his character eh, you know eh. <laughs> how does he respond under pressure mm, yeah. uh -uh. these are these are all elements of the interior because they are not things that you can see on the outside eh? yes all right so this morning well before we go to our the runway we're going to ask our question of today all right this particular question i've been saving it for long like so if you're watching us right now or anytime you get to see this video on our social platform you can definitely still answer the question so our question of the day can we please have it on the screen this morning so the wildlife photographer wakes up from uh, a nap under a tree uh, can we have it upwards good on that tree with a sleeping cheetah against him what are you going to do if you are this photographer hmm. are you going to jump up or are you just going to pretend like you're not up yet what are you it's, going to do it's really the cheetah you know actually taking that coddling position <laughs> it, you know how it is that you, you as a guy your partner comes to you and just finds one space you know in the bed so i don't disturb you in, yeah just squeezes himself somehow in a way that they get to feel the warmth of your skin so that's exactly what's happening i don't know if this is a love attraction here <laughs> <laughs> uh, i really don't know i put in myself in the shoes of this wildlife photographer my goodness i think I, I think i'm gonna play dead is it just me or does he look unconscious i, don't, I think that man is awake he's awake but he doesn't want, want to, to move he doesn't honestly because really this is this is not a it's not a baby doll it's not bunny <laughs> it's not a teddy bear yeah this is a wild <laughs> animal that could tear you to shreds in seconds but didn't it laid beside you you know, sometimes when something wants to kill you, it starts oh my first God. by becoming your friend. Yes. Yeah, sometimes your enemies behave like that. They <laughs> appear as friends. Right. Yes, you have a point yes. there. Yes. So, before you know it, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the one that you were all cuddled up and, um, you know, fraternizing and romancing with becomes your nemesis, as it were okay so, if i were the one hmm, that sleep will continue that sleep will, until uh, he will decide by himself to go and find maybe another wildlife photographer to cuddle <laughs> <laughs> anyway tell us what you're going to do if you but are then the again one. who took the picture ask me because i was there hmm. right ask me oh ask me all right so let's now go to the runway and when we come back we will there's, there's something they say about abuja men mm. when we come back we would uh hear we are the cream of the crop uh -uh. we are the toast 
of every lady out there with a hard desire of millions of women all over the globe. Let's go to the runway. We'll be. All right, that happens to be. I, I know the exact reason why we would choose this one. Yeah. Pray tell. Ah. Now you're doing this. I know be you're doing this with us. Did you like it? Have you not like it? No, be you're doing this. It's giving. It's giving wife of Odogu. <laughs> it's giving rich auntie vibes. Rich auntie vibes. Yeah. Yes, actually, but it's they are, those are pretty. I'm independent. But those are pretty expensive materials. Absolutely, so, I wouldn't expect anything less. I mean, so if if you if you well, you can go for the cheap material, Sha, and give your tea law too. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to break break your savings because you want to look good. Mm. You could you could seal um get a nice material, give it to your tailor, nice satin. Just may just do one and two. Mm. <laughs> For you, <laughs> but in my experience, it's better to. I mean, that's if you actually have to make a choice. It's better to get a not so good material and give to a good tailor hmm. than to get a great material that you probably might have spent a fortune on and give it to a not so good tailor. Ah, uh, well, okay. Yeah, mm. if you, if I had to choose. I prefer the first option. At, at least the, the good tailor would make magic with your material. Mm -hmm. But then again, you spend money on getting a good tailor and then the material does not last. So I spend money getting a good material and the tailor messes it up. No, no, I'm not saying either is better. I'm just saying, I mean, just use small money. Guess what, tailor? Manage your life. <laughs> <laughs> I said a small tailor. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now we did tell you that after the, the the fashion we're going to do something watch something on abuja men now this lady sat down for two minutes plus talking about abuja men hmm. i i mean I, I really don't know if it is i don't know where she got the script from but um let's watch and see so you, you we can understand what i'm talking about have you seen a beautiful man before if no come to my city they are here <laughs> i don't oh understand why you're why you nodding your head I, I'm, I'm in shock in shock of what the last time i heard truth spoken like this was 1851 Okay, first of all, I would say that nothing in that place over is Over a thousand years ago. My goodness. Eh? It's, over a thousand it's, years it's, ago. It's the tactfulness and the facts in, what in facts? that in that in that What video. facts, please? Let's start with what is facts. This first of all, this is her this is her opinion, this is her thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that she did uh, an extensive research. Except, except <laughs> research. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Um, because uh because in in uh in twenty in twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen I did a short survey, right? And what prompted me to do it that is very funny what even prompted me to do that survey. So I was on air one of those days. That was 2016, 2017. I was on air one of those days and then it was the evening and then I noticed that Several of the guys that were calling kept saying their girlfriends are not in Abuja. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And it, we're having a conversation um, on a topic, right? And many of the people that called in that evening, many of the men were like, their girlfriends were not in Abuja. Do you ask yourself why? Well, let me finish. Let me finish. So now, your girlfriend is not in Abuja. So who is the Abuja girl dating? That means your serious girlfriend is not in the city, but you have one that is by the side. Now, 
if under this under this so I, that made me to I like i started ha having more conversations and that's they're asking more questions as i started going to people's circles asking more questions and then i discovered something now in abuja it's if 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 what I'm saying, I'm going to, I'm going to put my card on the table. And then if you disagree, then you let us come to our page and say, Cynthia, no, this is not true. But if I, if, 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 if you agree with me, you do me like this, do me like this. Do you understand? Now, out of 10 men in Abuja, hmm, seven are married. <laughs> okay let me finish okay. no six out of ten okay. six are married okay now out of that six that are married mm -hmm. two mm. that's after the six that many four right two have serious relationship and these women are not in abuja mm -hmm. then the remaining two <laughs> eh wait now the remaining two are either they have a baby somewhere that is single father, but you will never know. And they don't want woman stress. So they're playing around. But in that too, they still want to have a good relationship if they find a person. But they are still like this. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So now, the six that you see as not as a single that you perceive to be single are actually married but many of them don't wear their rings mm. and if you're not observant enough i have i have seen i've seen many women write to me you know via email telling me about their relationship with a man and then they find out that the man is married later if i i, I know a woman who came to me one day crying that she this her boyfriend of hers and she went to his house only for her to discover that his wife has returned back to the country it's crazy and guess what the security man opened the gate for her because she comes there regularly when the woman was not around only for her to get in knock on the door and the wife came out like the real wife now came mm -hmm. out and she's like huh oh no wonder he has not been responding to her calls for the for some days she get so i really don't know where this lady got <laughs> Uh, well, are, are Abuja women expensive? I think it's not only Abuja. Women in Lagos are also expensive. Women in Portacot are also expensive. Talking about cute, luscious, and yummy, and whatever, but uh, <laughs> Abuja men, are they cute? Abuja men, are you guys cute? So, this is what I yeah, think. Yeah, they I are cute. I haven't, I, haven't, uh, I haven't done any survey uh, like you've done. I've not done any extensive research, um, but from the little time that I've spent in this city, I can tell you that. Abuja men are cute. That is number one. What is your business with a cute man? That no, this is just a harmless observation. Mm. Yeah, and if you go out there on the streets, if you check in this office, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sure you'd find no argument there. Oh, God. Now, talking about uh, the fact that lots of guys are single, and largely due to the fact that most Abuja women make it difficult That's not for true. them to be dated. And I'm going to tell you this for free. Abuja is a metropolitan city. And most of the guys that you see here, they come in search of, you know, a better life. They come mm -hmm. in search of greener pastures to make money. Um, I, I don't know who spread the news that there's some... Uh, Milk and honey. <laughs> honestly, that there's some tree that grows cash here in Abuja. So that's why, you know, that, it, that used to be Lagos, you know. Mm. But right now, it's Abuja that is that... Um, city in nigeria where everybody you know wants to come to I mean, and feel the like head. and then it, they feel like once they come they're gonna make it big now let me tell you some of the reasons why you know dating for most guys in abuja is difficult so you're having a conversation with a lady that i mean the first of all they're looking at your outfit in their head they have a certain way you're supposed to look as a guy before you come talk to that's, them. That's that's general. Now, it's only a now, now, when the conversation starts, uh huh, you're not coming flinging your car keys. That's a minus for you right there. And then the conversation starts somewhere in the conversation. Flinging your car keys for what? 
I told you, you, show, penny, you, you, you have to show that you get you have a right now. That you, you, nah. Will you agree? Go, I would agree. Will you agree? Nah, but go ahead. Number three. Uh huh. In the conversation, somehow, the conversation of oh, where do you stay comes up. Who asked that question? It it doesn't no, matter. No no no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Say the truth. Wait. It doesn't who asked the question? Hold on now. It doesn't matter who asked the question. Okay. But once that subject comes up, and you as a guy, you make the mistake, and you say. Anywhere among these places I'm going to mention. <laughs> <laughs> you do mistake and you say you are staying in Lube. Lube <laughs> across. You say you are staying in Gwagwalada. <laughs> <laughs> you say you are staying in Galadima. I don't know. Galadima or... is a great place. What? Yes. Hmm. Uh, where else? You say you are, you are staying in Maraba. <laughs> oh, nya, nya. That's like double minus for you. Oh God. So from the conversation, you're not staying in Wusi. Brother, uh -uh. you don't have a house in Meitama. Uh -uh. They can manage if you're staying in, uh, uh, what's it called now? Lokogoma. If you're staying, eh? I mean, Guzape. You know all the high bro areas now. But anything will carry you come up from city center. That's a minus for you right there. And then it gets to the conversation of what do you do. And then <laughs> in your conversation, oh God. you do not mention that you are a tech bro. Or that Where? you work, wait now, or that you work with some oil company, uh, or uh, that uh, you are the senior special, spe uh, senior special advisor or the senior special assistant to one government official. That's another minus for you right there. Where so, do you get this one from? So how many, how many, how many subtractions now on your score? You find out that at the end of the date, yes, numbers are exchanged. You know, like the, do you know the, the mantra of Abuja girls? It's not to give number. Will I pick? <laughs> <laughs> they will give you the number, but it's to pick that is the problem. Do you get? So I don't get. Th these are these are the issues. No. Uh, there are ladies in Abuja who are, for want of words, I mean, I don't think humility is the word. Who are more open-minded? Yes, I I think so. But they are infinitesimal compared to the great number of others. Who have their eyes set on, you know? And remember, like you said, it's the administrative uh, seat of power. Yeah, there's something you're missing. Yeah, something you're missing. Have you forgotten mm -hmm. that is this same Abuja? Yeah, where the men are regularly trending for mm -hmm. always asking women for money. Have you forgotten? We even had this that Abuja. We have even had okay, that conversation you, you, on the show where okay, we even had tweets. Okay, okay. You, you know I've not spent so much time in the city. So uh, I oh, can't, suddenly! No, 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 no. So I cannot <laughs> speak to this now. Have you also forgotten? I cannot speak that to this, this now. That is Abuja mm -hmm. that was trending on ass for, for, always, for, for the men always asking the woman, where do you stay? Because the men always like to go stay in the women's house. Have you also forgotten okay. now, that this... is in this Abuja that was trending on the X platform, a lot. In fact, almost if there's there's hardly a month that mm. goes by that Abuja men are not trending for either asking women for quick financial support or coming up with a story of um um there's a contract I'm expecting. Mm. Can you loan me some some money? I'm going to pay but you what back. What stops you from supporting your man? What Where, stops no, you from not helping? Your, not your man because mm. most times these men are not even your man yet. Mm. So. Um, this same Abuja. But these are the, you, I mean, you could help someone today and tomorrow. They are the now, big thing. So, so also, are you forgot forgetting mm. that is this same Abuja that has been trending online for several reasons? Like, oh, Abuja men love to buy big cars, but they don't have a house, so they prefer to some even some even have their wardrobe in their car. Mm. So, what are they doing with those cars? Now, this are is they the, not working with it? Now, this is are they the not thing. making money with so, it? So, the reputation. Are you going to despise their days of little beginning? Oh my God. The fact that I don't have a house today doesn't mean I'm not going to have a house tomorrow. <laughs> so, these are not my words. Mm. These are not my words. I mean, we've had this conversation on the show before where we even shared tweets, mm. you know, to show that. So, the, the question now is, I, I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end it by saying, because we have sports coming up next, I'm going to end this by saying, um, these are not my sole opinion mm -hmm. she shared her thoughts about abuja women mm -hmm. and the men which i disagree mm -hmm. do you understand because <laughs> of certain reasons but then again 
it's not about how much I disagree. Mm. You shared your own thoughts, which I disagree with your own thoughts as well. <laughs> you get. <laughs> but then we will get to find out what our people think mm. when they get to watch this and they decide to share their thoughts and say, okay, yeah, tell us what I, you think. I agree with what the lady said, or I agree with what Cynthia says, or I agree mm. with what Ugo says. Basically, it's it's very simple. Don't forget that this Abuja always every month it trends on on the social platform for one or two weird reasons and it's because of the man mm. so what i'm talking about yeah that means with these few points we're, of mind, we're doing something right we're doing something right really yeah anyway let's not talk too much spot comes up next it's two minutes come past eight uh what's his name All right, good morning. Thank you for joining us in Rapid Sports this morning. It's the morning tonic we ingest once every 24 hours, Monday to Friday. It's the last edition for the week. So what that means is there's quite a lot to uh, x-ray and talk about today. It's uh, the final match day this weekend in the English Premier League. And of course, like a lot of people predicted, um, the uh, race for the title has run down to the wire to the very final day. Arsenal and Manchester City. Look at all the possibilities. Uh, will it be a fourth straight title for Pep Guardiola and his uh, frenetic set of messiless players? Or are we going to see a surprise element in Mikel Ateta, who happens to be a student of Pep Guardiola, you know, running away with the title? There's also a permutation regarding who finishes at number five. There's a possibility that after all the trials and tribulations that Chelsea have uh, had to go through this season, they could actually finish in the top five. But that's a big if. So we'll look at all of that this morning. A couple of uh, big name countries have released their uh, squad list for the Euro 2024. Four and uh, well, there's a return for the big man Golo Kante all the way from Saudi Arabia. A couple of uh, players missing out there, and uh, surprisingly, uh, Michael Olise. And what that has uh, done is it has opened up a new vista of opportunity for the Super Eagles, not just the Super Eagles, Algeria and England could also give him a color. But where exactly will he be um, pitching his tent? Well, that's left for all of us to see at the end of the day. Well, there's quite a lot. Without further getting the lead down, without much ado, let's get on to the main event this morning. Uh, it's good to Welcome back, uh, Ahmed Conte on the show. Good morning, Ahmed. Are uh, you looking quite well? Good morning, my brother. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, very quickly, let's kick start this morning with tennis, where Chilean 21st seed Nicholas Jarry uh, fought back from a set down to beat world number eight Stefano Sisi Pass, uh, 3 6 7 5 6 4 and reached the Italian Open semi-finals yesterday. Well, he fought off 11 of 13 break points faced in the match and will next play American 14th seed Tommy Paul today in his first ATP Masters 1000 title. Another Chilean, uh, talking about Chilean, I beg your pardon, Alejandro Tabilo, that's the man who knocked out Novak Djokovic, uh, will take on German third seed Alexander Zverev in the other semi-final. And so it's Alejandro Tabilo up against Alexander Zverev and of course Nicolas Jarry versus Tommy Paul. Two Chileans will appear in the semi-finals of an ATP 1000 event for the first time since the format was introduced in 1990. And uh, absolutely happy for them. Uh, talking about Alejandro uh, Tabilo. Those are the two Chileans. And of course, Nicolas Jarry. Yes, his name doesn't really sound uh, Chilean. But then again, he's the man who uh, is going to be in the last four. Well, uh, we're looking forward to the Roland Garros that will be happening later on uh, this month. There's a lot of expectation ahead of that. We hear that uh, Rafael Nadal will be making an appearance. We're not really sure if it will be his final um, game of tennis or his final tournament as it were. Uh, but let's keep our fingers crossed and see how that all pounds out. In the women's event, Igaz Viatek uh, swept past Coco Gauff to reach the Rome Open final 
on Thursday, where Arena Sabalenka will stand in her way of a third title and her beats the match Serena Williams record. World number one Zviatek eased to a 6 4 6 3 win uh, over US Open champion Goff for an 11th straight clay court victory. While second seeded Sabalenka defeated Daniel Collins 7 5 6 2. If we could have uh, uh, some of those highlights involving Sabalenka and Daniel Collins. Well, so uh, we'll have uh, Poland Zviatek, a four time Grand Slam title winner. Uh, yeah, but also I want to sort to keep our minds open in order to enjoy mm -hmm. the competition itself by just expecting that anybody could just nick it at the end. Because if for anything, what we've been seeing consistently is surprises. So I'm down to see who actually um, comes up at the top at the, at the end of it all. All right. Well, we have a couple of the countries, like I told you, who are now bringing out their squad list for Euro 2024. If we could have that on the screen very quickly, maybe we'll start off uh, uh, with the French national team, the Le Bleu. Uh, we'll have the Dutch national team also bringing out their list, Ukraine with their list as well. Uh, uh, surprising, actually, for uh, France. Okay, this is Ukraine, uh, where we have the likes of Atem, uh, that's the young man who plays for Girona uh, making it in the squad list. We also had, of course, uh, uh, Michaelo Mudrik also there. Just a quick uh, rundown through some of the major names. Michaelo Mudrik, Alexander Zubkov. Uh, we have Vitaly Mikalenko, uh, Viktor uh, Shinakov. We have uh, Andre Luning of Real Madrid. Uh, yes, he's a goalkeeper for Ukraine. I think that's going to be yeah, a, a big plus for them. And uh, that's, of course, Alexander Zichenko of uh, Arsenal. He's also in that Ukraine squad. And then let's move to Germany, where we have Oliver Bowman, Mano Noah. That this man refuses to get from uh, of late. Uh, but then again, I mean, you look at that um, striking department. Who is he really going to bench? Uh, uh, and then uh, for the goalkeepers, uh, we we'll have Mike Nan, Arola, and uh, uh, Patrice Bamba, uh, all available there. Now let's talk about. Michael Olise. Um, yes, both of his parents, uh, Nigerian and Algerian, both, uh, they do have um, English and French, uh, uh, the English and French nationals as well. So there is the possibility he could play for any of the four, France, Nigeria, uh, England and France. Now that he's been um, neglected, as it were, <laughs> by France. If you were a Michael Olise, would you want to play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria? Absolutely. I feel um, as talented as he is, he may struggle to fit into that France squad. I mean, I can only think of three players in the entire France squad that could get in easily, and that's Kylian Mbappe, Antoine Griezmann, yeah. and then the goalkeeper, Mike Magnan, and that's because Hugo Lloris is out. Aside those three, anybody's position is actually not permanent. And when you look at the talent of Usman Dembele, Kingsley Coman, these mm -hmm. are the people he's competing against. And let, let's, let's not forget he's still playing at Crystal Palace, as these guys are playing at the gigantic clubs in Europe. Yeah. And they keep putting in numbers, not so much for Usman Dembele's um, debut season in Paris, but we all know the kind of player he is and the kind of Top player quality. he's been. Yeah. And um, when you look at Didier Deschamps, he's, Kind of like Southgate, he's very loyal to players who have actually performed incredibly well. And these guys put in such a great performance in Russia and they've been consistent. So he may not necessarily be swayed away by recent form and young talents. Michael Olise, Olise is incredible. And if his agents and manager are listening to me right now, they should just call the NFF. He should play for the Super Eagles. I think that's where, given how the nigerian football team like mm. i was talking to you about the program i was working on nigerian players are, are are in high demand so given how much the nigerian players are all over the world like bringing in performances mm -hmm. i think this is a very good platform for him he might have a slight competition even in the nigerian squad too but there is no doubt he would make the start. I mean, at the moment, it's uh, Chukweze, Ademola Lukman. Yeah, and they are very good players <laughs> for the national team. <laughs> but but so. someone would want to say uh, the Super Eagles is not a dumping ground because France did not call you up. That does not automatically mean that we will now throw our hands no, open but this, to... But what we should do again is to be honest with ourselves. That is the France national team. Mm -hmm. You understand? They have more than any other national team in the world. They have more world-class players than any national team. So, I mean, look at Malo Gusto. 
not Balogun even getting a call up. In there. And then you can think of so many players like Thuram that is in the squad right now. When you were talking about Mateta, there is no way they can call Mateta and leave Thuram. He was incredible for Inter Milan this season. So they had to call him up. There are so many players. So I don't think Nigerians would feel that it's because he was rejected. He isn't even rejected. So that competition, you never know. He could be called up at any time. And mm. I believe he must have been spoken to. Either him or his representatives, out of respect, they must have called him and said mm -hmm. this and this and that. So he's not like really rejected. It's just that the squad, the competition is too stiff right now. And I believe anybody who would have been dropped for him would have raised even bigger eyebrows than him being dropped off the squad. So I think he should find a way to the Nigerian um, squad. All right, uh, really looking forward to that one. Well, we have the lineup for the uh, orange uh, team. That's the Dutch national team as well. Some of the big names uh, would be Nathan Ake, uh, Steven Begwine of Ajax, Dali Blind, uh, Brian Robbery, uh, I think that's of, uh, Celtic, I believe, uh, Memphis Depay of Atletico Madrid, Virgil van Dijk of Liverpool, Denzel Dumfries of Inter Milan, Jeremy Frimpong, oh, that's a really great one from Bayer Leverkusen, uh, Cody Gakpo of Liverpool, remember there's Ryan Gravenberch of Liverpool as well, Frankie de Jong uh, of uh, Barcelona, matches the lead of Bayern Munich. Well, this is actually star-studded. Ian Metzen uh -huh. of Borussia Dortmund, uh, we'll have Daniel Malen of uh, 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 Dortmund as well. Uh, that's Savi Simons of uh, 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 PSG, who is on loan, of course, at Lies Page. Uh, we have uh, Stefan de Vrij, Vout Verost. <laughs> Remember his time at Manchester United. There's uh, Jorginho, which now them, of course, who is uh, at the moment in uh, Saudi Arabia. Now, let's move on to what's going to happen this weekend. It's a big, big weekend for uh, the English Premier League. There is the possibility that history could be made. Uh, Pep Guardiola winning the Premier League four times in a row. From where I from where I sit, this mm. I mean, I don't even see Arsenal as apart from the fact that football it's ninety minutes. And we have to wait until you know, the, the final whistle is blown before we can actually, you know, make conclusions. But then again, from history, from records, from what we've seen, from the antecedents of this man, Pep Guardiola. Even if he's had 100 titles in his uh, kitty, he still wants to get the, the next one. If he's beating you by 10-0, he feels like the, the match is still at nil-nil. He wants to score more. You get. So, um, with, 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 with that in mind, what are, the, what are really the possibilities? You know, Arsenal, uh, I mean, look at the final fixtures here. Arsenal against an Everton side. An Everton side that had a good number of points chucked off them, yet... They survived relegation, and I like to say comfortably, you know, because Im imagine that they had the luxury of all the points that were chalked off them. I mean, that shows the level of quality in the team. And then we'll have, uh, so of course, uh, Arsenal are not going to have it easy. We'll have a Man City playing a West Ham. It is David Moyes' final game in charge. So two things. Uh, they would want to uh, uh, make a statement. I mean, West Ham have not had such a great season. Uh, make a statement that, look, we're not pushovers. And they may want to play for the coach. Let's give him a befitting farewell. The odds of Manchester City to win West Ham United is 1.10. That's like 10 out of 1. So, I mean... I, I don't know where your head is at with all of this. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I, I'll just say what David Moyes said and then you would understand my point. Yeah. He said when they asked him, um, do you think the team would be in a position to, to do Arsenal a favor? He said the team would not stop the Manchester City under 14s. <laughs> yeah, I did, That's what I, he said, so. I did hear that. And, and since the first day you asked me this question, I always told you Manchester City would win it. And it's for only one reason. I looked at... Um, Sir Alex Ferguson, the way I'm looking at Pep now. Mm -hmm. In the Premier League, no matter how many talented players you have, the tactics you have, there's one thing. The moment you have it, you're good to go. And that's the experience of winning it back to, to back. back. The moment you have that, you're home and dry. That's the reason why I knew Manchester City, whichever way they started the season, however they dropped in the middle of the season, when they get to February, it's game over. That's when I knew they would win it. And it was still in Arsenal's court to compete until, until they lost Aston Villa. against Aston Villa. And even if it were not that game, they still would not have won it. I would tell you. For example, if they would have won that game and then gone to Old Trafford, mm -hmm. whereby Manchester United know 
pretty much well that if Arsenal lose that game, they would mm. lose the title. Mm -hmm. Arsenal would not have won that game. Even this game, they won one nil. They just won it by like a whisker. Mm -hmm. United could have just taken. Yeah, the, the, the United time. actually gave a good account of, the, yes, of themselves. Yes. So I think I think Manchester City are just. But then again, there's also the argument of you know uh, 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 in that scenario that you just painted now, mm -hmm. Manchester United could have come all out in a bid not to make their noisy neighbors get advantage over but them. But I'll tell you for a fact, mm -hmm. Manchester United fans globally, not the ones in England, globally. Would prefer Manchester City winning the title. Yes, of course, Arsenal. as opposed to Arsenal. It, I think it, the competition in England would only prefer my, um, Arsenal, but outside of England, where is the majority of the fans? Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't. You wouldn't find many Man United fans that would prefer Arsenal winning the title over Man United. All right, Arsenal. if if we could have uh, the the table, the top seven or the top six table on the screen right now i mean uh that's it right there let's look at all the possibilities Ahmed. uh two points ahead for manchester city against arsenal oh. now if all man city needs uh it's a win. a win just a win just a win and if anything that makes man city not to win against west ham that gives arsenal an advantage against uh, uh, Everton. Arsenal so, will beat Everton, clearly. That's without a doubt. So, are you not seeing a possibility? Are you no, not seeing not. a scenario I'm where not. Man City does not get all three points I'm not. I'm against not West it. Ham? I'm not seeing it. I will tell you why I'm not seeing it. Because they know. This is the thing. This is a team that is so good, and they know. Mm. It's just one win. It's not like they're playing against um, Real Madrid. It's not like they're all respect to West Ham. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're playing one of the top teams in Europe. They're yeah. playing West Ham. You understand? And they know one win. The the level of mentality in that squad would not permit them to drop. Mm. I mean, we, we, we even have a Rodri who hasn't lost in uh, forty nine games you can now. Imagine that. All right, let, let's look at uh, Liverpool. Of course, uh, the only thing they get this season is qualifying for the uh, Champions, Champions League, League and winning Cup. the Carabao Cup terrible season for uh i wouldn't say terrible well, i would say manageable <laughs> i would say manageable i, I mean say, I, at least i expected him to you know offer some level of uh competition to but, but what this I think, point yes, in the season but what i think happened to them i, I you know, all praise and respect to jorgen club but i think yeah. his announcement did them yeah did them like um more harm than damage. good yes yes it did more harm than good because at that time, they were leading the Premier League. They were in all four competitions. Mm -hmm. They were in pole position to actually win, win a quarter all four competitions. I think when that came in, instead of that being a, a motivation, it, it became a kind of kind pressure. Of, yes, and then they were slightly in fight because it was surprising to some players, as mm -hmm. I read um, afterwards. And then that, I think, it just it deviated their attention from actually making history. Mm -hmm to send in a fair it, to make a farewell it, for you it is also the opinion of some people that young and club might have actually been depressed you know having to do this over because in, in his farewell speech so he kept talking about he's one of the energy, energy, energy man, of yes. you know doing this over and over again yeah. two times i think it was uh, 2019 uh i don't know which year it was where they lost only one game yes 97 points yes, and yet they did not, they win. Did not win there was a, another season where they lost only two only, yet they yes, did not they win did not because win. of one man Pep Guardiola. <laughs> i think that if you were a student in a class you yeah. know that would that would affect your confidence to some level, level. That, why is this guy always beating me <laughs> yeah. you know i think it might have been depressing for him well he's an emotional guy yes but i i for one think I did not expect that he would leave Liverpool now. Mm. One, because I think Liverpool is in a position, is in a better position now than they were last season. Mm. And um, I wanted, I would have loved for him to be even a bigger um, managerial icon in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at it now, not so much. He only won one. You understand? Some people will, some people would argue that, oh, because you could Liverpool have had three. not won it. Yes, people, Liverpool had not won it for so many years. Then, yes, but... You would you would still not put him in the in the league of let's say Arsene Wenger or Jose Mourinho. Nah, he doesn't he doesn't get to not. feature yeah, in doesn't. that category. But when you look at his um at his uh, his gift as a manager mm. and how good he, so is, he is, he should he, be there. Yes, that's the thing. Yes. So I feel sort of bad for him, mm. and I feel bad for the fans. I think he was really not timely. He could have just waited for the season to finish. Mm -hmm. And then when he finishes in a glorious form and then he announces he would leave, that would have been So what if he did not finish in a fantastic form? 
I strongly because, believe I mean, Liverpool there's, would have won. There's, there's this saying that you leave when the ovation is, is loudest. So that's why it's clever to wait when you win. And, and they were such an incredible form at that point. Exactly. There was hardly any game that Liverpool did not win exactly. by, you and know, in two position, plus yeah. goals. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. all of a sudden, instead of losing against Crystal Palace, got beaten by Atlanta 3-0. I mean, yeah, yeah. who it does went, that? It went downhill from there. Then he would have had, this is the clever thing about that, if he had not um, announced it then, and then Liverpool went on to do what they have done now, he would have stayed. Mm. And waited to have a more glorious ending. You understand? Well, on, on, but now he cannot go back on his way because yeah, he's yeah. German. <laughs> let, 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 let's talk about the debut season for Angie Postekeglu in uh, the Premier League. Yeah. When the season started, he sounded very confident in most of his press statements. But yeah. now, towards the tail end of the season, you see him um, talking in the fashion of most of the managers that we've seen at Tottenham Hotspur. Jose Mourinho, Antonio Conte. They speak of a certain rot in the club yes. a certain mentality even in the players yes. he could not really understand how you know Tottenham had a, they had a grip on that game on Tuesday against Man City and it was even surprising to me that they couldn't even score a goal and I mean now Tottenham Hotspur who at some point stood a chance of actually winning the Premier League title are now struggling for fifth place there is a scenario on Sunday, in the final match day of the season, where they do not even finish number five. Oh, wow. Yes, if they lose um, against uh, their opponents, I think that's Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Yes, if they... Uh, no, 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 Chelsea no, no, United. United. She if they lose Aston against Chelsea Palace. United and Chelsea win against Bournemouth, Chelsea would be on number five. Chelsea will finish the season as number five. We could very quickly uh, have that table back on the screen as we begin to wrap up this morning if tottenham hotspur lose on sunday and chelsea gets a win i mean it's it's all over and chelsea this season they've been through a lot mauricio pochettino has been bashed time and time again nicholas jackson has been the subject of a lot of criticism uh what's his name again moses Casiedo. basically Enzo. the whole team basically. they've been dragged the whole the, 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 the whole season and now somehow towards the tail end of the season they found a rhythm to their play um there is some pleasure that chelsea fans have now watching their team yeah. um against the bonmouth side uh, by the way Anthony raola has been incredible for bonmouth this season yep, yep, you yep. know uh, i do not know if you think they would be ending the season on a high but i mean what do you make of chelsea's resurgence at this time of the season um i am i am very much impressed by it and i am not surprised mm. one because they had the quality players yeah and pochettino is a good manager a lot of people would not agree no, no, I, I, I told you, I said the problem I saw with Chelsea in the beginning is administrative problems. Mm -hmm. For example, the investment in players, for one, was, um, well, it, it did not make economical sense, most of the investments. I'm not saying the players they bought, but the investment in the player, like the six years, the seven years, the hundred and so million for him, mm -hmm. so and all of yeah. that. But the squad as a whole is a decent squad and is the one of the largest squads in England, actually. And... Pochettino is a very good manager in building a team. He was the, is, it was the perfect fit. And Chelsea's season, even before this um, resurgence now, was not really, really underwhelming because they went to a final. Mm -hmm. And then they were using up to nine new players in their mm. squad. And then not and forgetting managed, the injury concerns. A lot they of had, injuries. They had, at some point, they had over 12 injuries mm. in the squad. So I think the whole season was actually good. Mm. Even before their final game, I think it was a very good season. Mm. Given the fact that, again, he was playing almost like new players for almost every position. Yeah. You understand? And the captain was out of the squad for pretty much the And then he comes season. back and picks uh, up a uh, <laughs> crazy red card. So I think it was a good season. And I'm even more fearful of them next season. Yeah. And I think Nicholas Jackson might just be the player they thought they didn't need, but would actually turn out to be a very good player. Yeah. And on, Cole Palmer, on, of course. On, on, is, honestly, I'm, ah, untouchable. Player oh, of the season. Incredible. Yes, I said I was going to ask you, you know, uh, regarding, uh, I mean, on a different day, we'd have a conversation about how that Chelsea found that form after Enzo, you know, got out of the team. I, I mean, that whole midfield rearrangement where Cucurella, you know, now becomes part of the, you know, midfield arrangement with Casiedo and Gallagher. I think you know, it, gave, it gave them some level of fluidity. So very quickly, um, you've seen the season, the end of the season. Um, this is now uh, the Ahmed Conte Awards. Who is your player of the year? Without doubt, Phil Foden. Ahead of Cole Palmer? Yep, 17 goals, 30, um, 8 assists, and the fact that he was the best player in the best team, I think he has to be. All right, best new signing? 
Cole Palmer for me. I, I, I wanted to pair him with them. Um, I, I thought about Declan Rice, but the difference was that Declan Rice walked into a team that just competed for the title. Mm. Cole Palmer went into a team that basically everybody was just new and he's a new kid. And yeah. then 22 goals, 10 assists is incredible. Biggest surprise? Biggest surprise for me would be Ollie Watkins. Uh, Ollie Watkins was... Ollie yeah, I think Watkins he's been was, delivering back-to-back. -back, oh, uh, my goodness. For... He was good. 19 goals, 13 assists. Elijah Debayo. Yeah, Debayo, yes, yes. But Ollie Watkins competing with Erlen Haaland for the Golden Boots. He has the most goals and assists for the season. Mm. Playing for, for, for Aston Villa and he's a converted winger. Mm. But Kopama is ahead of him, though. He, uh, if my math serves me right now, 32... And Cole Palmer? 13 plus 19. Uh, Cole Palmer has I a think thing. he has one more than Cole Palmer. Really? I don't know if I'm not right. I think Cole, maybe, Palmer, maybe. Cole, Cole Palmer has more. Biggest but, flop. Biggest flop, oh, without a doubt, Amrabat. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, basically. He added nothing to the team. Oh, my goodness. Uh, most improved. Most improved player, Mohamed Kudus for me. Oh, great. Uh, most uh, overrated. Most overrated, Enzo Fernandez for me. Best manager. Best manager, Mikel Atata for me. A worst manager? Ah, oh, without a doubt. Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag. Eight goals, 15. Eric, eight oh goals. Oh my goodness. Eric Ten Hag, ahead of Vincent Company. Oh, yes, yes, without a doubt. Oh, 410 million compared to Vincent Companies, how much? Oh, no. Crazy, Eric crazy. But, I mean, we could go on and on, but then again, this is where the cookie will have to crumble because he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Ahmed will be back again some other time, hopefully. Uh, but then again, do enjoy the rest of your weekend. We look forward to what promises to be an absolutely exhilarating time with the final match day of the season. Ugochuku Madimir is my name. Adios. My name is Akio Sakiodoa. Hey guys, this is Anto Lecky. My name is Leo Bliss. My name is Akavago by the name Baba D. And you're tuned into Rapid TV. And I love Rapid TV. Shout out to Rapid TV. Thank you, Rapid TV. Please keep watching Rapid TV. This is Rapid TV. Rapid. Rapid, Rapid TV. Keep watching. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. All right, that was music of Orisha Femi. I mean, it's a Friday, so it's a very, very, it's a perfect time for you to carry your hands up and you know, eh, ow, eh, wa, eh. Dance kiliwa. They didn't say kiliwa. It's a type of dance. Eh, no, it's not, it's a song of praise. Oh, uh, yeah, you can kiliwa in the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway we wanted to introduce our guests in a different way but they've already showed him on the screen so let's just go ahead is that a Kilewa song you did not listen to it oh he has, he has his own vibe yes everything is just different anyway so we have someone who is going to be having the show with us this morning and um, he's going to be joining us until about 9 30 and um, his name is originally Deji, but he is mostly called Babalao. Okay, so at first, I was told that they are bringing Babalao for me. My first thought was, okay, I'm going to see him with uh, hmm. the red cloth, the small, <laughs> the white in the eyes, <laughs> carrots, and probably the staff. Yeah. You know, coming in. It would have been so dramatic. Mm -hmm. But then he had to, he, he had to look like, People of the world. Mm. Digital Babalao. <laughs> 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 Based on updates. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my okay. goodness. So how does the digital Babalao work? How does it work? <laughs> if you want to even consult the oracle, you need a laptop to consult the oracle. Mm. Oh, we don't throw carries on the ground no, again. No, that's the holding more method that my forefathers use. Oh. Okay, so okay, so uh, let us start with. As you're looking at me now, tell me. Uh, tell you what. Eh, will I? Will someone give me like eighty million today? Do you have the belief? Yes. You have the belief. Ah, uh, a uh, huge. A huge. How are you sure? <laughs> now you're making my doubt myself. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, I mean, he has the persona. Okay, you know? okay, so okay, no, okay, so let let's do something. So realistic. now our show is really like a we, shrine. No, wait, now mm -hmm. wait, don't spoil this uh, this um 
this this Baba is Lawo and client. This is a moment that no, should Allah. not be joked with, please. Mm. Don't don't ruin the the uh -huh. Yes, I have the belief. But you have uh, you, you are doubting your mind. <laughs> I'm actually doubting, you know. <laughs> okay, let's come down to one million. One million. Yes, I have the belief. You have the belief of one million. Yes. Yeah. And you have a source to get it or how? Mm hmm So you have to consult the oracle. Uh, what will I use to consult the oracle now? You have to bring good to a cow. Hey. <laughs> 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 But Balao, do you know how much for cow now? And you have to sow seed now. I will sow seed? Yes. How much is cow? Cow? Maybe if you buy a cow of 2 million naira. And you have to believe of 1 million naira. So I will sow 2 million naira. Okay. Yeah. To collect one. That's not a good return on investment <laughs> now. <laughs> no, but Balao, this one is not. Uh, I think I should go back to my 80 million. <laughs> Let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> so at least if I buy cow of two billion, uh, at least no. I maybe at that point you need the cow that's uh, worth uh, maybe two hundred m. No, no, it's not possible. So, but but let's let's start with how did you come to this? How did you get to this name of Babalao? Babalao. Mm. Yeah, I start content creator. I try many other ways. I I try other many character. The mm. character did not fit me. That's the gospel truth. But once I I just do the babalao part, I see everywhere everywhere in my area. If I just pass here, they say ah, babalao, babalao. I say ah, this name is a good name. <laughs> so that's when I stick to it. Then I say okay, from this, today. This is my name. Name babalao. Mm. So what 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 are your what what gives you this idea? Like when you want to shoot your skate, like. Mm. How do you get your motivation? How do you get your source? How does it come? I look at my environment because people just only believe in pastor. Mm. Uh, the ladies believe mostly on Babalao. Yes. Ladies? Oh, le yes. oh, wow. Okay. Ladies are the people that patronize Babalao ah, ah. in Nigeria. Uh, uh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> this is a huge information. <laughs> Very eye opening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you should tell him that's not me. <laughs> but what about the great number of young guys who would always visit Babalaos to, you know, get wealth, to blow to like blow. this? Uh -huh. uh, the boys. I think we have a greater like number a of guys who want to no, blow. The guys are gamblers. Oh, oh. gamblers. Yes. After but don't you need Babalaos help? Babalao, hmm. They will go and meet Pastor. Oh, so but the ladies don't go and meet pastor when they come oh, to Babalao. Uh, once a lady believe on Babalao, you can't you can't move it. You can't move it. Wow. And they believe anything you say to them. If uh, maybe you go to Babalao house, you say uh, your husband is the one tightening your destiny, or is your mother. Mm. Uh, if she's a lady, she believe everything. Wow, that is this is <laughs> this is. This is a very profound information. <laughs> I mean, okay, is it that there's something special that the Babalao does that makes the the ladies believe, or is just fragileness of mind? Why the ladies believe Babalao mostly? Okay, maybe maybe on your way coming, something happened, and the Babalao just guessed. He's guessing. You know? Oh. Okay. Once he gets her, uh, uh, where is your mother? You maybe say your mother is at the village. So now you, I, I see riches around you. I see money. Ah, huh? and you are still trekking. Mm -mm. You're supposed to be using Bentley now or Tesla. Mm. Huh? About that, your mother, she's holding your destiny. Hmm. Mm. If it's a guy, a guy will have two thoughts. We'll say, oh, this guy bless you, won't walk me. Make a first watch. Maybe how much you go say, make a brain. <laughs> but ladies don't do that. Ladies, no. They keep their secret to themselves. Mm. But a guy, a guy will go meeting guy, say, oh, see this um, uh, Baba, she will think, say, say, make a brain. Uh, Maybe now all these boys will be working boys. Go, go, go meet other guys. Say, I see you. I go meet this Baba. He say, make a bring 80,000. 
The guy go say, I beg, forget her, na fraud. Mm. Uh, why no do one for you? Let her go peer. Mm. But now if you tell a lady, go and bring one million. She don't have the one million. But if it's Babala that tell her, say, go and bring that one million. She can borrow that one million to bring. Because she believes yes. that he's going to do what is for her. Okay. <laughs> so is this all coming from a place of um, experience or? It's from experience. Wait, do some people actually think you're a real babalao? Or do, do, do they think like it's a character when you I, play? Wait, when I was in, let me be honest, mm. to be frank. Yes. When I was in uh, Jazz 3. Okay. I think, okay, how can I make more money? Just, okay, as a big boy, I have to wear good clothes. I have to look flash among the boys. And I, I, I attend this... Um, uh, this thing, Abacha Barak, my junior school is Moria Primary School here. Mm. So I now went, okay, let me go back to that Moria Primary School. Let me give them one idea. Uh, and I tell them, okay, I, I have a magic pencil. Okay. <laughs> yes. So what does the magic pencil do? do? Anything you write, the child will make it. Oh! This was when you were in just 3 Yeah. Okay. So did any, did you, were you going to sell the pencil? Yeah. How much? Hmm? As then, I said it pencil, 5,000 Naira. Ah. Yes. And you bring picnic for me. <laughs> <laughs> you bring milk for you? Yes. Oh. Okay, so these kids were buying the pencils. They are buying the pencil and they are bringing all your... Your mates? My mates, my juniors, they are buying the pencil from me. And the wow. So, so wait, did, but was he working? <laughs> working? Mm -hmm. Was he working? Did anybody come to complain that the magic pencil you gave him or her did not you work do for, what he said he was going to do? You know what you are writing. You write you the right thing. <laughs> no, but you said whatever I write yes. that the teacher will yeah, make it. Once you believe that is the right one, right? But anyone that fails, if you come to complain for me, uh -huh. I can ask you what you eat last night before you write the exam. Oh, maybe you tell me you draw, uh, you eat maybe draw soup. Or so, oh. did that draw soup is drawing you back? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know that some people might want to see that as, you know, that you're conning them? That they're deceiving them. Yes. Then nobody believed that I'm deceiving them. I'm mm. the only one that knows that know that I'm deceiving these people just extra money from them. Mm. And you were surviving. You were. Yes, I mean, I'm you were able to pay I'm your school fees, do yes. everything you had to do, go to yes. school. So, how about in the university? Did you do the same thing? No. Or when you went to further, you didn't do like that. Every t they say in every stage, there's different devil. <laughs> so, what did you do when you went after after secondary school? What did you do? Did you look for another method? You must look for another trick. You mm. must upgrade. Mm. Like when I go to higher institution, I will go and find maybe one of my guy in my area. Mm. We can dress your room up. We can just dress your room so now you will be the babalao. But I'm the one to tell him about the character and I will tell him about you. Okay. Oh, that's. Uh... So you'll be doing the surveillance. That's What's that's interesting. Yes. So so now is it just skit making that you do? Now I do skit making and I'm into automation, full home automation. Mm. So let's talk about your skit making. Mm. So now in your skit making, do you mm. have real clients that come to you like, okay, they see your role as they see you play the role as Babalawu, just the way Kata Efe plays the role of being a. That's a, a, a nasty kind of, you know, mm. na, uh, Kata is a calm, fine, handsome man. But because of the role he plays, people are like, he looks horrible. Mm. But that's not actually true. If he's mm. calm and quiet, you see me. So so for you now, do uh, do you have people who come to you with the thought that, oh, you are a real Babalawo? Or they just come to you and say, ah, Babalawo, based on your image? Some just believe that they are believed. That I have one supernatural power. Oh wow! Why? Is that something? Tell us. Is that something you are doing that we don't know? 
It's just guessing. Oh yeah, guess something about me. Let me let's let's see how how well you can guess. Let me guess. Ah, just go ahead. Then you guess about him. You guess about me. <laughs> this morning you are doubting that I will not come here. <laughs> oh, that's that's a no brainer. That's a no brainer. No, that is out of it. <laughs> that's a, that's, that's a, out of it. That's a, that's no, a no -brainer. that's a, that is out of it. I mean something about myself. About yourself? Yes. I feel like there should be a soundtrack at the back. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's consulting the oracles now. Mm. Let's be quiet. Let's be calm. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> okay. Uh about you like your character or what what do you want anything to do? anything at all something she likes something she doesn't like anything or, or something she believe on uh, yeah anything like now mm. if a man can walk, walk with uh, walk to you with a white garment mm. you have double mind but your, uh, most of your mind will be telling you, uh, this, this guy is telling you the truth. Yeah. Are you sure? Search again, search again, search again. Turn it, spin, spin it, But spin. the next thing you do, maybe you call your pastor, or you call someone you rely on. Say, see, 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 somebody told me something about me. Hmm. Are you sure? Mm. Okay, we'll keep that one on pending. Yeah. Because I'm not... While we talk about, you know, skip making for then a you, moment. Then you guess about him. Because mm. I want to hear his own. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about skip making for a while. Um, Nas Boy, in an interview, you know, um, he was asked how rewarding it's been being a skip maker. So he said before that he thought Sidney Talker, mm. you know, was into fraud mm. until he got into skip making himself. Yes. Yeah. So how rewarding has skip making been for you? Has it been as lucrative as advertised? by some of those big names mm. who are in skit making already yes yeah and like okay the only collaboration i want to have now that we are just working on it is this guy calling himself the Curtis. uh ogb, OGB, OGB. The why a lot of people do not find him funny uh, ogb but you have some characters mm. that sell at the market right now in the skit meeting mm. because it changed patterns Mm. Okay. So you like to work with that person? With that person. Okay. Mm. And I've start processing. So he say anytime he come to Abuja, we have to work something out. Is it paying you as much as Skid Mickey is supposed to pay? For now, mm. uh, Skid Making is not too. Um, sure, I'm good. I'm doing good, sure. I'm, I will not be. I will not lie that since I I come to the timeline. Some people, if I, even, I don't even come to their event, they used to get angry. Mm. They say, okay, maybe, maybe because the pay me small, that's why I don't want to come to their... Mm. Are they paying you little amounts of money? Mm, some pay me little amounts. Because so they want to pay you little, you don't go? <laughs> no, it's not, I'm not, I don't go. Maybe I have another shoe daddy. Oh. But you can say for now, until it gets better, better. that for now it is, you are... You are okay. Yeah, uh, we, we thank God for life. Mm. In the chop money. When you hear them say we thank God for life, mm. that means that it's money. Bola. All right, so we'll go to our music review. Mm. And we'll also have you for our music review. So we're going to play some songs. And then you tell us, you listen to a lot of Nigerian songs, right? Yeah, even I start as an artist. Oh, before moving to Babalao. Very good. So we'll play some songs. And then you tell us what you think about these songs. So okay. we'll play two songs. Okay. Later, let's what you think about the songs. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so first of all, start with Casey's Big Fish. Brand new song. It's a few days old in the market. And um, the video is also out as well as the, the, the audio. Let's check out this song, which he also had people faces like uh, Rita Dominic, Iniedo, um, some other... Bolanle. Bolanle. You know, um, Tana, Adalana. You know, lots of great people. 
uh, that he featured in this particular song. Beef fish, let's have himself to the timeline. Mm. And is he doing a good job at that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you think so, that's good. Even though you're still owing me about him. Mm -hmm. So in one minute before you go, tell us something. Eh, do, do you know something? What? He needs more time to consult the oracle. <laughs> so he can get a more extensive... No! No! Extensive... You! Ex extensive it's, revelation. The way he said something <laughs> for me. One minute. In one minute. Oh my goodness. Say you're, something. You're for, impossible. Say. Hmm? One minute. Uh, Guess. Let me guess something. Not until you tell this man, he will be you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> They're not even dirty for your own sake. <laughs> you, know, you see, you said just should. You just naked you, you spiritually, said, not see. You said not. <laughs> they don't even need to cause too much of the oracle. Oh my goodness. See, oh yeah. my goodness. And that's very correct. How is it correct? You know, they believe anything. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Thank you, Baba Lao. Thank you so mm. much for confirming what I've always known. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. And with that, we're going to go on a very short musical break. When we come back, myself and Ugo, we would continue the show and then wrap up. Uh, thank you once again to Deji for coming, aka Babalawo, for mm. coming on the show.